The key skills qualification is a frequently required component of 14 to 19 education in England, Northern Ireland and Wales. The aim of key skills is to encourage learners to develop and demonstrate their skills as well as learn how to select and appellate skills in ways that are appropriate to their particular context. It is generally available in schools, further education colleges and other places of learning. The qualifications can be taken at levels 1 to 4. The Department for Children, Schools and Families in England and the Department for Children, Education, Lifelong Learning and Skills in Wales define key skills as a range of essential skills that underpin success in education, employment, lifelong learning and personal development. The DFES website states that the key skills qualification is offered as a response to concern from employers about lack of essential skills in young recruits and as part of the response to the 1996 Deering Report. Key skills qualifications at levels 2 to 4 attract UCAS tariff points for university admissions. The UCAS tariff is a point system used to report achievement for entry to higher education in a numerical format. Subjects Key skills qualifications are offered in six areas, communication, speaking, listening, reading and writing skills, application of number, interpreting information involving numbers, carrying out calculations, interpreting results and presenting findings, information communication technology, finding, exploring, developing and presenting information including text, images and numbers, working with others, includes process and interpersonal skills to support working cooperatively with others to achieve shared objectives, work cooperatively and have regard for others, improving own learning and performance, developing independent learners who are clearly focused on what they want to achieve and able to work towards targets that will improve the quality of their learning and performance. The standards include process skills, for example, target setting, planning, learning, reviewing and interpersonal skills. For example, communicating own needs, accepting constructive feedback, negotiating learning opportunities and support, problem solving, encouraging learners to develop and demonstrate their ability to tackle problems systematically, for the purpose of working towards their solution and learning from this process. Three types or combinations of problems are dealt with, diagnostic problems that depend primarily on analysis to arrive at conclusions, design problems that depend mainly on synthesis to create a product or process, and contingency problems that typically involve resource planning and gaining the cooperation of others. For example when organizing an event, the first three key skills are sometimes referred to as the main key skills. They incorporate the basic skills of literacy and numeracy. The remaining three are often referred to as the wider or soft key skills. Assessment arrangements for key skills vary between England, Wales and Northern Ireland. Key skills may be examined in a variety of ways including internal, external or set tasks. Internal assessment means the production of a portfolio of work demonstrating satisfaction of the key skills targets. The internal assessment must be internally verified and externally moderated. External assessment consists of a test or examination in the subject, often in formal examination conditions. Set tasks are similar to portfolios without the flexibility of the latter. Levels and progression. The qualifications are offered over four levels, level 1, 2, 3 and 4. These levels correspond to the levels used for other qualifications within the National Qualifications Framework. Progression to a higher level is characterized by greater autonomy from the individual in deciding how they will apply their skills to suit different tasks and problems greater demands made by the situation in which the skills are applied, use of a wider range and more complex techniques. Key Skills Level 1 helps candidates to develop the basic skills that are important for key skills competence, and recognizes their ability to apply these skills in meeting given purposes within routine situations. Level 1 is broadly related in terms of level of demand, to GCSE grades DG or National Curriculum Level 5. Key Skills Level 2 builds on Level 1 by requiring candidates to extend their basic skills. It recognizes their ability to take responsibility for some decisions about how they select and apply these skills to meet the demands of largely straightforward tasks. Level 2 can be broadly related, in terms of level of demand, to GCSE grades AA Euro C. 
key skills level 3 marks a shift from straightforward tasks to being capable of responding to the demands of more complex activities. Candidates need to demonstrate more explicit reasoning ability and personal responsibility in making decisions about how tasks are organized. Level 3 can be broadly related, in terms of level of demand, to an A grade at A level, the higher levels, levels 4 and 5, describe those skills relevant to technical and professional situations and higher level study. Key skills level 4 requires candidates to have substantial autonomy and responsibility for managing activities and for identifying how the key skills relate to their situation. It recognizes ability to develop a strategy for using key skills over an extended period of time, monitor and critically reflect on progress and adapt strategy, as necessary, to achieve the quality of outcomes required. At key skill level 5, there is a single standard. This standard requires candidates to apply their key skills in communication, working with others in problem solving, in an integrated way, in order to improve their own learning and performance in managing professionally challenging work. Source, QCA The Key Skills Qualification Standards and Guidance, 2004. Key Skills Awards, according to the UK National Statistics Office, up to September 2006, Almost 2.2 million key skills qualifications had been awarded. There were 692,000 awards of key skills qualifications in 2005 June alone. 522,000 of all key skills qualifications were for main key skills, up 19% on the previous year. 170,000 of all key skills qualifications were for wider key skills, up 61% on the previous year. The most popular key skills continue to be communication awards, 206,000 awards in 2005 June compared to 150,000 ICT awards. Application of number is still the fastest growing main key skill qualification, up by 27% on the previous year to 166,000 since their introduction as a qualification in 2004. The wider key skills continue to grow. Between 2004-05 and 2005-06, there was an increase of at least 60% in the number of awards for each of the wider key skills such that wider key skills accounted for almost a quarter of awards of all key skills qualifications in 2005 June, compared with around a fifth in 2004 May. Source, Department for Education and Skills Risk Gateways slash Awards of Key Skills Qualifications 2005-06 SFR 14-2007 England, schools generally determine the level of entrance dependent on past achievement. Those who achieved under grade C at GCSE in the corresponding subject are asked to take the corresponding level 2 qualification. Those who achieved over grade C at GCSE are recommended to take level 3 or 4. Those who take the corresponding subjects at ASA level are generally excluded from the external assessment in that subject, as the completion of the corresponding subject certifies the academic achievement required. By 2010 the main three key skills will be replaced by functional skills in England, which will form part of the new specialized diploma framework. The wider key skills will continue to be accredited. Equals proxy equals Students with a GCSE up to grade D in the subject associated to the key skill are exempt from taking the test for level 1 and can be entered for a proxy, this means that only the portfolio need be completed. The same applies to level 2 key skills if the student has a GCSE grade C or above. The exception to this is key skills ICT where a proxy makes the student exempt from both the test and the portfolio. It is important to establish the correct level to be aimed for initially, especially when it comes to ICT. Wales, in Wales key skills have been replaced with essential skills Wales essential skills Wales is the suite of skills qualifications which replace the previous key skills of communication, application of number and ICT, and the basic skills of adult literacy, adult numeracy and skills for life ICT. These skills can be achieved through the medium of Welsh or English. Scotland Scotland is a separate core skills qualification. One of the main aims of higher still qualifications in Scotland is to develop the capabilities people need to be responsible members of society. All students at all levels must obtain qualifications in all five core skills if they wish to obtain a Scottish Group Award. 
the core skills enable people to put their knowledge and understanding into action. The five core skills are, communication, oral and written communication, numeracy, using graphical information, using number, information technology, using information technology, problem solving, critical thinking, planning and organizing, reviewing and evaluating, working with others, working with others. See also, Welsh Baccalaureate Qualification, Victorian Certificate of Applied Learning. References External links, Key Skills Support Program The Key Skills Support Program provides teaching and learning, organization, and support for key skills and increasingly skills for life. From this page you can link to the KSSP websites for schools and colleges and the work-based sector. Key Skills Support Program in Wales DCELLSDYSG provides awareness raising, professional development, delivery models and activities as well as resources to support the implementation of key skills programs in 14 to 19 education in schools, FE colleges and work-based learning, Scotland Core Skills. Resources for core skills are presented in an online interactive format, as downloadable flexible learning materials and as a content package for use in a college virtual learning environment. Key Skills for You A key skills training website designed for students to test, learn and practice their communication, application of number and ICT key skills at level 1 and 2. Includes two simulation games, Simtor and the Serpent's Curse, BBC Key Skills Student Site for information about key skills. Includes activities for all six key skills. Includes interactive quizzes and island quest game to practice wider key skills, information for tutors, video clips and extra information. You can also link to the SkillsWise Basic Skills site from this page, BBC Raise Your Game A sports site on BBC Wales that promotes key skills by stealth using sports themes and celebrities, DFES, key skills. Basic information about key skills including what are key skills, FAQs and links, DirectGov, key skills qualifications, edXL. Key Skills, Welsh Baccalaureate and Essential Skills Wales site, Schools Un, What Are Key Skills All About? Skills Links, a growing directory of key skills resources.